Welcome guys to a new episode of I don't know the name of my channel yet but today we're going to be talking about the best cameras you can buy for the Olympus Micro Four Thirds system or the Panasonic Micro Four Thirds system and I'm going to be telling you why I personally chose these three lenses they're only three but they cover a whole wide variety of scenes of uh, probably travel as well so you're going to have a bit of lightweightness and also if you're into nature zoom street photography they cover most of everything to start off I'm gonna be talking about this lens that I'm using right now it's on the camera itself and it's this one here it's the M Zuiko 45 millimeter 1.8 now the reason why I chose this lens is because it's a medium lens and it's perfect for portraits so if you wanna one of your friends or you want to take a nice photo that you can upload on Facebook, Instagram, Flickr, any other program. So you're going to have this beautiful 45 millimeter. It's going to give you an amazing bokeh from the back and the F point 1.8 is going to make it great for night photography. Or even in a restaurant, if you're sitting in a restaurant or you're sitting anywhere where there's a bit of a low light indoors. This is going to make it for a perfect lens and it's what I'm using now, the quality is amazing. Now obviously there's a pro version of this lens, but I'm talking about the basic lens, I'm not talking about the pro ones, I'm talking about someone who's just started in photography, they haven't got enough money, or they've got a small budget, this is perfect for this situation. The best portrait lens out there, f1.8, 45mm. And the sixth one, the second one, which is my favourite of all, it's so favorite to prove it to you I bought two of them the black and the silver version just to tell you how much I love this lens it's the 17 millimeter 1.8 the 17 millimeter they call it the street photography lens and it's true I use it for vlogging when you're out and about in the street you've got a nice view of the street you've, you wanna just have a little bit of zoom and a little bit of wide angle you want to do a selfie as well, you've got the, ha the camera holding it like that you get a bit of your face, a bit of the background which is perfect very good lens again you can use it for portraits if you want to, 17mm but you have to come a bit closer to your subject and the problem with that is people get a bit uncomfortable but with a 45mm you stand about 2 meters away click, you take a picture perfect, no one seems you don't go inside their personal space now what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to switch to my third and most favorable lens and we're going to see if it makes any difference. Actually what I should have done is I should have put on the 17mm lens just to get an idea of it. So let me leave all the settings as they are and I'm just going to flip <coughs> and put my 17mm lens and then I'm going to give you a comparison of what we can see. Welcome back. What you're seeing now is the 17 millimeter lens the ones that I was telling you for street photography it's got a bit of wide angle we can see a lot more now and this is the lens that I was using previously the 45 millimeter 1.8 now which one you prefer depends on your choice I like to use both each has its own scenario now you might be telling me Marius why don't you use a teleconverter lens or a zoom lens which has got from 12 to 30 12 to 50 you can there is one actually 12 to 45 why don't you use that the problem is I like my focal points to be as wide open as possible so I like them to be low f1.4 f1.8 maximum I like to go as f2 it's just because I film a lot in the night so the focal point obviously the lower it is the bit the more better it is for night photography so this is why I like to go for my prime lenses but I do have a telephoto zoom lens and this is what we're going to be putting on now and it's my final and third lens third and final is called the Zuiko 75 to 300 millimeters what a beauty lightweight it extends from a hundred um, <coughs> it extends from a hundred mils from 75 mm to a hundred perfect for zoom perfect for any type of scenario that requires a little bit of distance now if you can see my 
nose hair it's totally fine because I'm using the 75 millimeter and this is in its lower setting now the focal point on this as you can see I had to turn the light on is because the focal starts from 4.5 and this is why it's not very good for night photography it starts from 4.8 actually all the way up to 6.7 how many stops of light is that and this is in the lower setting now if I go a bit more out now this is the maximum 300 millimeters I don't think I'll be even in focus here I have to go back all the way back 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 now I'm about 2 meters away from my no I'm about 10 meters away can you still see me guys I'm here anyway I'm in a different room now I'm in a very different room there's about six meters distance now and all you can see is probably my nose hair anyway I hope you like this video guys if you do like it please like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode peace and also let me know that the, the comments down below which is your favorite camera and which is your favorite lens thank you thank you alright guys I thought I will give you a demonstration of the 75 millimeter lens and uh, 75 by 300 just to get an idea of what type of zoom are we looking at so here is my neighbor's car I wish it was my car actually and this is as far as the lens can go so you, uh, it's about I would say good 30 meters 35 meters away and this is what we are getting the night is almost so this is at 75 millimeters and now I'm going all the way out to 300 just in comp just for comparison for comparison reasons I'm gonna switch to my 17 millimeter lens which is right here and see what we can see same scene same scene 17 millimeters I've taken the 300 millimeters out we're still in the same scene this is the car that we were looking at earlier that blue one this is the difference a 75 millimeter does a uh, two a 17 millimeter so I'm gonna stop here guys I hope you like this video please as we said share like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode